All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to transition a little bit now and talk a little bit more about the fly sweep and complementary play design. And so everything that you've seen to this point has been a wide zone. I'm going to show a few fly sweeps now, but you'll notice that with all of these, there's a wide zone element taking place opposite of that. It can take place to the same side, and we do that some as well, but most of what we try to do is divide the defense when we're running a fly sweep. And so whether we're running a wide zone and faking a jet, or whether we're giving a jet and faking a wide zone, we're trying to create as much stretch on the defense both directions as we can. And so there are really two plays in one that are going on here. And so on, on some of these plays, I'll, I'll start with and just show you how many people are involved in the blocking. We have the ability when we give a jet like this, again, to do it from any of our backfield sets, um, we also have the ability to block with one, two, well, zero at times if we know that it's there, um, or one, two, three, or even four people who are getting out in front of the jet and blocking for him. So this is a case where we just have one tight end getting out in front of the jet, and you see the, the quarterback here. One of the reasons that I still like getting under center is I think you turn your back to the defense, you hide the ball and you make it a little bit harder for them to make decisions on where they're gonna play and hopefully we can put them in conflict of assignment just a little bit longer. Here's another one with a single arcer. This one out of 11 personnel, it's actually a tight end but we're in tackle over here and so we shifted our tackle over uh, to give a strong, a real strong run element to the field and then we're just arcing our tight end to the boundary. And, Again, I think the, the misdirection that it offers really fits nicely with the play, and so you see most of the guys who are involved in the defense here play in the tailback. Again, the quarterback's turned his back from the defense, and so if, if all of our guys are playing full speed, and we talk a lot about how you play when you're away from the ball, really saying more about who you are uh, than how you play when you have the ball in your hands. Here's one from an empty set. Again, I'm just showing versatility. And so here our quarterback is actually showing the wide zone opposite that, and we could fake the jet to the field and then run the quarterback on the wide zone the other way. And really that just depends on who our quarterback is and how many times we want to run him. So here we're handing the ball on a jet to the tailback with a single arcer as the tackle. Here are a couple of jets where we have two arc blockers. So a pretty standard way here with a tight end and a wing. Here's one where we're handing it off to a, a, a wing down near the goal line, again with two arc blockers. So we got a tight end and a wing who are blocking for a wing coming from the opposite side. Again, faking the wide zone the other way. Here's another one with two arc blockers. This particular play, now instead of two tight ends, we have a tackle and a tight end who's in a wing alignment who are arc blocking. Here's one with three arc blockers. So we have a tight end in a wing alignment, a tackle and the running back who are all blocking for the jet and the quarterback who's running the wide zone the other way. And then here's one where we actually have four blockers getting out in front of the jet. We've got the play side tackle, tight end, wing, and tailback. Kind of has a student body right element to it. 